What's going on everyone? It is so hot at the moment, which means a massive downturn in work, but we do get these common problems which you're about to see on this video and it is radiators are getting hot when the heating sets are off and you're running your hot water. So quite a common problem we face, but it's also a very common problem that a lot of customers experience. Before we get onto that, I bumped into a really nice gentleman this morning that worked for the big blue brand BG and I didn't catch your name. Sorry, really rude of me. So comment underneath if you're watching this, say hi. Um, appreciate you stopping and saying hello. So I had the kids with me, so obviously was a bit was a bit distracted. But um, yeah, nice to meet you. But comment, say hi. Right, let's see what happens on this one. Bit different, finally not a Worcester. Um, constantly seeing Worcesters. Argument is they're the most common boiler out there. So of course we're gonna see a lot of them. So it's nice to work on something a bit different. And these, I absolutely love these boilers that are coming up. Um, yeah, probably my favorite boiler to work on. So nice and spacious inside, which you'll see. And really intuitive, really good boiler. So have a look. So here we are, it is an A-Tag Economizer boiler. These are really nice boilers, really efficient, slightly bigger than your usual, but they are lovely to work inside. Now, the issue this one's having is radiators are getting hot when the hot water's run, which for those that do know, and actually for those that don't, is likely to be a diverter valve issue. Now, on these, you can get away with a cartridge replacement. So the way we test this is ideally ask the customer to make sure the system is cold when you attend run the hot water and if the flow pipe starts to get hot nine times out of ten even nine and a half times out of ten it's going to be the diverter valve or cartridge now that is pretty much the same on a system as well with zone valves or a free port if you can make sure it's cold then you can test by turning the hot water on and does the the supply to the heating get hot so now we're going to isolate the flow and return so we can drain the boiler, take the case off. It's really easy to get these cases off as well. Now I'll show you the diverter in the back right corner. Oh, this is quite handy. If you pull out this little string bit, on the right hand side there you can drop the flap right down gives you a bit of better access to work on so there's your diverter on the right hand side bump on the left that little plastic box is the flue gas heat recovery which is what makes this boiler so efficient so it heats the plate slightly before there's actually a demand so i know a lot of you will have a go at this it's a bad habit that i've got where i drain the boiler using the prv but don't worry I always then take it out and clean it off and seal it after. I've just always done it. It's a really bad habit and I know I shouldn't. So we unclip the diverter there because on this, when you change your cartridge, there's an update kit. So you have to change the actuator, the cartridge itself and the wire that goes with it. So that is a 17 mil socket you can get on there. I find is the best way or a piece of grips, but I find the socket works a lot better. Suck out some water there. There's the old one. And I will open the pack up for the new one. As you can see, internally, not much difference. On the outside is the main noticeable difference, but it is better. Here's the part numbers. Take a note of those. I'll whack them in the description as well. So you've got the cartridge, the cable adapter, and the actuator. You will need all three of these if it's the old grey style in there. If it's already got this black style, then you're fine. But the grey style, that needs all of it replaced. Different type of clip system, but I'm sure all of you will be able to work that out. Unlike me, who didn't in the first bit. I don't know why I didn't edit that out, but oh well. At least you know that everything is, is real that you're seeing. And the same, I struggled with this clip, but it goes on fine when I'm actually doing the job. We call it pressure of customers behind me and whatnot. Hence why I'm doing a video uh, voiceover on this one and not actually talking whilst filming. So we just screw that one in, plug in the actuator 
there's a new cable adapter with it that plugs back on you can't get that wrong it only goes one way because there's little tabs sticking out and it just slots on there and a new clip just clips in there i told you a lot easier this time how great is that little light by the way little magnetic unit light told you i am undoing the prv and we're gonna have a look oh, top hat got stuck this happens all the time it's really annoying when it happens sometimes you can jiggle it out but sometimes you have to use grips so we'll clean that off put some silicon on there screw that back in and it should be fine i do have a spare one of those if needed again i know i shouldn't do it but i do so on these when there's no pressure you'll have a fault code which is 108 off the top of my head if i'm wrong i'll put that in the description but we open up the firm return again refill the boiler then it will go to vent mode can press back on that and it will take it out of vent mode but it is worth running if you drain the boiler down this helps protect the boiler so here we are pressure is all topped up everything is looking good running the hot water you obviously can't test this but trust me it worked feel the flow pipe that's completely cold so obviously that's what you would do so nice easy job on these um as you probably saw they are really nice to work inside generally great boilers back again hope you enjoyed that i say a little bit different from the usual worcester stuff um and nice to see one of them boilers out in the wild probably not very common for a lot of people but i should have quite a few bits and pieces coming on there soon um great boilers thanks for watching Hope you liked it and don't forget to subscribe, really helps. Please click that little bell. Um, yeah, it really helps push the channel and really helps you keep the motivation of doing the, doing the actual jobs. So thanks, see you next week.